My name is Janine Mansour and I'm the PR manager for IMG Worlds of Adventure. Yeah, good afternoon and thank you for taking the time to speak to Break the Travel News today. Uh, we're here on the final day of uh, WTM 2016 uh, on the Dubai stand. How's the show gone for you this year? It's actually been amazing. Um, this is the first year that we're here that our park is actually open. Um, IMG Worlds of Adventure is the world's largest indoor theme park located in Dubai. So we were here last year and now we're here and we're actually open and we have uh, great details to report. Okay. The, the, the park opened in August, I believe, a couple of months now. Um, perhaps you could give us an overview of uh, how you're welcoming guests. Sure, it's been amazing. So as you said, it's just over two months old. Um, we've seen over 100,000 uh, guests come through our doors up until now. Um, it's definitely meeting our expectations. We've had a warm reception from local residents, international national tourists, um, and everyone alike, actually. It's been amazing. And you've got some great partners there, the Cartoon Network and Marvel. Um, how are they involved in the project? So basically, our park is 1.5 million square feet. It's all indoors, um, the world's largest indoor theme park, and we have four zones. Uh, so we have IMG Boulevard, which is our own IP. We're owned by uh, the Elias and Mustafa Galadari group, hence the IMG in the name. Uh, Lost Valley Dinosaur Adventure, which is also our own IP. Marvel and Cartoon Network. So four different areas, but uh, all under one roof. Correct. Do you think uh, parks like this one uh, illustrate Dubai's uh, maturity as a destination, uh, moving away from perhaps the high-end luxury traveler to a more diversified por portfolio? I definitely think so. I think the focus for Dubai right now, um, up in, to the run-up of 2020 coming up, is to focus on family entertainment. So with a, with a product like ours, with IMG Worlds of Adventure, with the theme park coming into the new mix, Dubai is looking um, to become the Orlando 2.0 to emulate what they've done with an influx of theme parks opening up. With us being the f first movers, we have the first mover advantage in the space. And I think we're, we're definitely um, setting the benchmark for what's to come. That's a big uh, destination, big milestone for Dubai, the 2020 Expo, uh, hoping to achieve 20 million guests per year by then. Correct. And I think having an entity like this, opening it up to the family market, um, is, is definitely growing that sector and will help Dubai as a whole achieve that target. Okay. Well, it sounds like a very exciting time. Hopefully we'll catch up in a few months and see how the project develops. Great. Thank, thank you. Look forward to it. Thank you. Thanks.